Hi Seeker, welcome to your monthly tarot scope for September for Leo, my Leo Seekers. How's your season, Leo? Oh, okay, let's talk then. The Lovers, Eight of Wands, King of Pentacles. <laughs> Okay, that's one hell of a start. Making a very clear decision that has to do with your path, potentially with love, potentially with a Capricorn or an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo because of the King of Pentacles, but it doesn't have to be. It could also be work-related because King of Pentacles is very much um, into his career, what he needs to do. And I have here the lovers with the eight of wands with the king of pentacles. So you're making a choice and you know what you want and you're going for it. And the process may have occurred through August and now, right now, or soon, or throughout September. You're just doing it. You're moving towards it, from it, with it, for it. And it's very clear, wow. Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, Queen of Swords. So someone doesn't want you to do that and they're being judgmental. Maybe it's someone that you're leaving behind. It also could be a new start that, you know, you had, the, there's the sense of inertia. Okay, one decision leads to an action and action leads to a result and like, the ball is rolling and then it's a brand new start and before you know it you're in it and you're like nine of swords queen of swords like what is going on what did i do was that the right thing now everything that okay was that is that the plan uh too late <laughs> Nine of Swords and Queen of Swords is a very harsh energy. It's a very harsh combination. It's like, what have I done? This could be an immediate, immediate um, thought. But the Lovers and the Eight of Wands and the King of Pentacles, even though it's fast, it's also very grounded and stable. So I'm thinking it's just the whole aspect of it happened really fast once you made the decision that scares the hell out of you or of someone else that is involved. I have earth sign. I have strong air sign because the lovers could be a Gemini. Queen of Swords could be Aquarius, but they can both also be Libra. But they mostly embody their energy, especially in general readings, guys. So it's the energy of the Aquarius, the energy of the Capricorn, the energy of the Gemini that is on the table. This could be in someone's charts. This could, this could be just someone's behavior. So don't take it too literally. This, by the way, guys, speaking of chart, it's for Sun, Moon, and Rising, Leo, and potentially Venus and Midheaven. If you're a cross-watcher, also welcome, and thank you for being here. Let's keep going. Okay. Ten of Swords. So from the Nine of Swords to the Queen of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So something that was really stressing you out, really concerning, really somewhat scary, is now over. It's done. The swords are leaving your back. You realize it's over. Also, we go from Eight, Nine, Ten. Eight of Wands. Ten of Swords, I'm sorry, Eight of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords. So a fast movement, a fast decision that was very practical could have potentially led to anxiety and pain for someone else that either was left behind or was a weird part of it. But now, during September, the pain is relieving itself and releasing itself. Also, it's we're past Leo season. Maybe this month things have happened fast and furious and now September is kind of <laughs> the calm after the storm.
there's somewhat of a fluctuation from feeling really good and, and passionate to really worried and um, and restful. But it's okay. I feel like it's it was the right thing to do or it's about to be the right thing to do. The lovers with the eight of wands, it's a good decision. It comes from the heart and from passion and that has um, the support of the universe. Like eight of wands is very much opportunity that comes really, really fast. Okay, you made a decision, now the universe has supported it and things have happened fast and you just kind of rode the wave, right? And someone was on the other side of that wave accepting you. You're like, yeah, here, you can sit down here with ease. Let's start anew. But then this Nine of Swords and Queen of Swords. This can also be someone highly critical in your life, being very judgmental, that you are releasing and relieving yourself from. With the Ten of Swords. It's like, it's over. You can't say these things to me anymore. You can't do these things to me anymore. It's over. You're really feeling it, huh, Leo? You're really, really feeling it. It was intense. Potentially still intense. Let's not forget we're talking about September. If we're not resonating yet, yet. Also, feel free to watch your other placements. Moon, um, Rising, which is Ascended, Venus. Let's keep going for my Leo Seekers for September. I'm looking at the cards on the table while I'm mixing. It's an inter interesting bunch. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Some of you are starting putting your focus into studying something or a new craft. Um, or a new practical endeavor. Maybe you're starting a new project at work. Maybe you are actually signing in for school. Um, and it's been after a very rocky, wavy time emotionally and actively and also practicality, work, relationship. And you're like, I'm just gonna put my head to the ground and study and grind and focus and work. and ease the tension with just putting my focus into practical things that I just need to take care of. This is also the Virgo, this is also September. September could be just that month. Also September school starts for many. Watch Scorpio that I posted yesterday. I have a feeling you might resonate. Eight of Pentacles, yes, definitely some sort of craftsmanship. You're either studying or working on something diligently, investing in something. This is the second eight, another eight on the table. Um, hard work with the King of Pentacles. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm clearing out all the emotional situation, all that relationship situation, that person that was very dramatic and karmic and intense in my life. Now I've got things settled, maybe with them, maybe with someone else, maybe alone. But now I just want to ease the emotional tense and work on myself, work on my craft, work on my life. And it requires investment. You're not going to see the results super fast because it's, it's the page of pentacles, the beginning of the process. Eight of pentacles is working towards something. You don't necessarily see results right away, but it's for, you know, you put your effort into it. You put your um, your time and energy and it's, it's, like, um, it's like being an intern. Page of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles is also very much a combination of an intern where you're you're working really hard, you don't really see much money, but you know it's for something bigger and better for the future. You're investing in your future. That's it. The Tower. Hi Leah, what are you messing with? Let's just look at it.
Okay. So we were or are brave. We made a decision. We made something. We, we made a practical decision and acted upon it because it seemed right, seemed accurate, seemed practical. Good chance it was. If it's not and you're worried and concerned about it, okay. If it was, but you're still worried and concerned because everything happened too fast and now you're like trying to put your head into the ground, grinding stone and just work your way out of it, it seems inevitable. Either someone is coming back for, I want more, I want a conversation, I want to figure it out, this can't be it. And some of you are trying to work on something that just doesn't work out. It keeps circling back to the same new beginning, falling flat on our face. New beginning, fa falling flat on our face. This could be a relationship with a lot of ups and downs. With fighting and then, okay, let's fix this. Let's talk about it. Let's start anew. Let's work on it. And then, boom, it happens again. Someone can't control themselves. They just can't help it. It's going back and forth from being very mature to being childish, the king versus the page of pentacles for some of you. Two eights, a lot of circling around sometimes, around the same idea that potentially wasn't working and trying different ways to make it work. Einstein said insanity is doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results. Is that what you're going through, Leo? This could be a homecoming, you know, returning back home, but then not getting along. Because maybe someone that you're living with is being very, could be a parent or could be anyone. Is being very critical to you and it's causing a lot of anxiety and expectations and it's just you, you it's hard it's just you're not having it seven of swords Ugh. but you know what it's okay i kind of like seeing the seven of swords here because it's partly needed you know you're tr you need to be strategic and clever and form a plan that makes sense, that is not based on, um, you know, acting from the gut or from passion or too fast or, you know, I have an idea and I'm going for it. No, it's just sitting down, making a plan. Seven of Sword is very strategic, very smart. It forms a plan. And this can also be about escaping the ruins, you know. Figuring that, okay, counting the uh, the losses and just leaving with what you can. Mm. Sorry, Leo. Comment, tell me what's going on. A lot of things going on on the table. But you're really trying. I see that you're really, really trying to do the right thing. And it keeps um, just... Oppa. All right, good. This is what I want to see. Four of Wands. Great. Things will start to make sense. You will be um, reasonable, strategic. You will form a plan, a game plan. And you'll work towards it and you will succeed. You will see good results. Four of Wands. This is just working towards stability, trial and error. All kinds of energies are, are involved. Different people are involved. Trying to make sense out of all of this mess. But you're very diligent. You're working hard. So it's going to work out. Good. I'm happy to see this Four of Wands. Let's clarify more into it. Let's go more into the Four of Wands. 
I don't have any water on the table. I have fire, I have earth, I have air. I don't have any water. It's almost like you're a little bit emotionally detached because of all the things that are going on. But you have to have some emotions for the flow and for the healing. Six of pentacles, great. Four of wands and six of pentacles. Things are really, really looking better throughout September. Things are starting to feel much, much better. Money is coming in. Support is coming in. You are getting something that you've potentially been working hard for or waiting for and kept going back and forth with it. And now it's finally here and you can work with it. You can do something with it. You can finally put your plans into action. Bottom of the deck. Judgment. The Emperor. Six of Cups, Three of Wands. So someone is coming back. Could very much be a fire sign, but doesn't have to be. You're getting a call or you're calling someone that now seem to know what they want. I got it now. I know what I want. I know how I want it. Everything that was, all that mess, I now understand. I now feel it. And this is actually looking good. This is a good energy. Three of Wands, Six of Cups, Judgment, and the Emperor. It's, it's, it's a grounded energy. It's stable. Also, FYI, this could be a father figure. Someone from your childhood. A parent, an uncle, giving you a call, wanting to do something together, fix something, create something, do something, even just meet. How's it going, you know? I'm going to conclude, I'm going to ask for a couple more cards, and then I'm going to show you the extended, and then we're going to do messages from the Divine Circus Oracle, which are always fabulous, seriously fabulous. And what I mean by showing you the extended is by rearranging the cards on the table um, according to their numerological and energetic value, and take out new narratives and deeper understandings of the cards. You'll see, it's cool. I'm doing it in a sec, but first I want to conclude this. September for Leo, result slash advice. This is the first water I have, and I have three sixes. We'll definitely address that. That's that includes the lovers. That's that's love. A lot of love is happening in readings in the for this month of September. A lot of um, reunions, recon reconciliations, um, divine encounters, awakenings, understandings. This is for all of us, for all our seekers. It's something that is really repeating itself um, in this time frame for for everyone. Conclusions and advice for September for my amazing, beautiful Leos. I love you guys very, very much. I'm very happy to have you here. I'm very um, grateful for your subscriptions. Oh, by the way, if you want to know when your video is up, all you have to do is press the bell right next to the subscription button, to the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, press subscribe. That way you can know about more videos and support me. And I'll really appreciate it. Links to your extended are below in the information box. So is the email, my email address, if you want a private session. Okay, there it is. There it is. I said what I needed to say, and there it is. Ooh, a lot. So I have the Fool and Two of Cups. A brand new beginning, emotional beginning. And I'm, I'm happy to see more cups coming up after all these fire, air, earth energy. Now, I had four cards fall in the reverse 
normally if a card or two fall in the reverse I take them in there because it's a group I'm gonna straighten them out five of cups three of cups page of cups the hermit now all the water is coming <laughs> it's like an overflow okay September once you'll feel at ease with everything once will things once once all this starts being settled and make more sense there will be a brand new emotional start water will start flowing offers will start coming you won't be able to drown in your misery anymore because there will be just too much emotional ease and joy coming in your way someone in your life that will be very benevolent very sweet around you offering you a lot of emotional support and let's have fun and let's go out and let's do it kind of is going to take you I can't forget the fact that it came out in the reverse right so let's not forget um, that we were a little bit in misery and a bit loners but it's going to end now that time of like emotional distraught and stifleness and feeling like this and feeling like that it's like a tabula rasa right clean slate the fool is coming in the face of someone very sweet and artistic and poetic and open-hearted and very creative, has a very different way of thinking, kind of brings new life in September. And this is actually, even though it seems like a mischievous, light-hearted, um, you know, young energy, it's still someone that brings a lot of wisdom. the where is it the virgo virgo pisces um scale is very strong on this table it's very dominant the poetic healing wisdom the artistic healing wisdom you're getting a little bit more light-hearted leo I know August was your season and that's the time where allegedly everybody's having fun but I think for you it was still a little bit rocky and September is bringing a much more eased energy I'm very happy to see it yeah someone very adventurous very sweet very lighthearted is kind of being like let's just snap out of it let's go have fun it really brings out the water element in you it's like all you needed was this opportunity with this four of wands and six of pentacle to get back on your feet and kind of feel good and then it really drawn someone back into your life um i'm really liking this and yeah there's a little bit of emotional fluctuation here a little bit of ups and downs from two of cups to five of cups to three of cups Could be someone that is far away from you. Maybe it's a long distance relationship. So you really have fun when you're together, but when they're away, it's a little bit uneasy, but still. It brings more stable kind of inner um, state of mind. An inner more stable state of mind. That's what I was trying to say. Also very artistic expression this is you know this is the actor and the juggler the uh the poet the court clown and i'm saying it in the most benevolent way possible like this is really fun very fun energy it's just really light-hearted i really like it but not idiotic don't get me wrong it's not childish or stupid it's just refreshing it's been very heavy for us right For all of us, it's been heavy for months. Okay, let's take a look at your extender, right? Let's put the cord cards here for a second to see if they're relevant. Uh, nine, nine, nine. I'll, I'll organ it, organize it in a second and you'll be able to see it. I'm just kind of... Definitely six, six, and six. And three and three. 
I really like it. It started a little bit rocky and shaky, but here we are, making sense out of it. Good job, Leo. Good job. Um, the Emperor. And I have one, ten, two, five. This is where I'm talking to myself. Please excuse me. <laughs> Seven, four. Um, I don't, four and four, yes, it's connected, it's stability, it's grounded, it's structure, it's, uh, could be the husband figure, could be the marriage, um, okay, let's do it, baby, I'm ready, <laughs> um, seven and seven is making sense out of the chaos and kind of escaping the ruins, um, I just don't want to put everything because then it will be too much and there's another aspect to the, uh, extended, which is a Celtic cross, so I want to leave time for that as well, okay. All right, let's take a look at this. Two eights, two threes. Mm. This is done. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this one here, and I'm going to connect the two pages. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. Great. And all the major arcana. And the three sixes, and this is also a major arcana. Okay. So this is your this is the first part of our extended, Leo. Where I'm gonna um, address the multiple numbers and just treat them as a new narrative. I'm just connecting them, right? Eights, threes, uh, pages, six, 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 love, very very deep soulful connection. Um, and then all these majors, I'm just gonna reach out into their meanings, into their guidance, and to the new narrative that is on the table because of the new structure. Right, we got it? Cool. I like it, Leo, because even though it started a little bit shaky and rocky, we made understandings, we, we acted upon it, and even if we doubted it for a second, things started to really make sense out of it. So I'm proud of you, Leo. You're about to do a good job. Um, be patient. It's going to get eased. Everyone is feeling much more at ease now, um, thanks to September and the end of all the retrogrades and, um, and eclipse season that was brutal for many of us. Very benevolent on a spiritual um, evolutionary growth kind of way for our, our soul, but our 3D expression of existence, our psychology, our heart, our mind, were like just all over the place. It's been hard, but now things start to make more sense. September brings a very very good grounded easygoing energy so don't worry you can breathe <laughs> all right so um message i'm sorry for my leos clear message and guidance for september from the divine circus oracle as i'm mixing the cards waiting for the card to fall for the message to fall down um link oh there it is okay link to your extended below email for a private session is also below and tarot masterclass if you like to um study tarot for me um all right wow voice of an angel number 13 i'm familiar with this one it's quite a beautiful message let's read story time yay i'm happy this came out voice of an angel this could be that um full um page of cups kind of energy type of energy that is coming into your life and being like a voice of an angel for you. Maybe you're wearing that suit and embodying it for yourself and for someone else. Okay. You have something to say. There is a unique voice within you that wants to be expressed creatively in the world. Whether it is a conversation you need to have, a truth stated, a song to be sung, or a book to be written. Honor your voice. Know that it is inspired and can help not only your own spiritual growth, 
but support others on their path too. Yeah, if you're an artist and you just you were kind of um, searching yourself in different places, not finding yourself, just go create and do and be and express yourself artistically. This is your time. If you do not allow inspiration to flow, you will feel blocked as though something that needs to happen naturally is not happening. It is an uncomfortable sensation that can lead to feelings of depression, self-doubt, lack of confidence, and eventually wear away at your self-esteem. This really resonates with the reading. There was no emotional and creative expression. I only had fire and, um, and, and air and earth without the water. Now fire and, and air can be super creative, so can earth. But when there's no water, there's no flow, there's no um, expression of it, then it's stuck and becomes rigid and painful. Right? And then the water came out to the reading, and now we can see it come out in September. So the supports. Um, sometimes we unintentionally hold ourselves back from expressing the inspirations, ideas, and imaginations we feel because we are afraid. Afraid that we are making it up, that we will be judged or fail to deliver a worthy expression of the idea. Maybe we think someone else will do it better anyway, or we simply don't choose to value our inspiration enough to make it a priority in our lives and don't set aside time and devote energy to it to bring it to life. When the oracle of the voice of an angel appears, you are being given two pieces of guidance. Firstly, your idea, intuition, or imagination is not off base, but spot on for your own unique life journey. You are tapping into pure inspiration and the divine muse of creativity is blessing you. If you feel blocked or or are uncertain about how to direct your creative your creativity the universe is letting you know you are being say you are being sent a muse the inspiration you need to find your own true voice you're being sent a muse secondly you are being asked to have trust courage and confidence in yourself and to allow and to follow through on the gift of an idea that has been given to you this is not a time to keep quiet, play it safe, hold yourself back, or allow others to step up and speak for you. It is your time to speak your truth, to express yourself, to have confidence in your own ideas and inspirations and in your own voice. This oracle also confirms that the time has come, or, or very soon will, for those ideas to transform into physical reality. They will require action in the physical world, and therefore you will attract opportunities to bring that uh, to bring what started as a wonderful idea into material reality. Put this here so you can see it as I talk. Um, if you want to manifest something and have already been working to that end, voice of an angel confirms that this is going to happen. You will sing your own soul song in whatever way is true for you. Lovely. Now, affirmation, something you can say to yourself, um, to strengthen this notion. My voice is clear and true. I speak, create, and express from an authentic place within me. Leo, you are extremely creative. How can you not express your creativity? Come on. Also, it's the number 13 if it speaks to anybody. Um, all right. Okay, guys. Oh, by the way, after we'll do this, um, this part of the extended of using the cards that I had on the table, I will clear the table and do a new shuffle and have a Celtic cross reading. It's a more structured read, structured reading. It's different than the intuitive reading, um, and it can bring about a completely different narrative. Um, for those of you who didn't resonate or resonated and want more, um, also at the end we will finish with a message from the rooms from the Celtic marvelous rooms. Once again, thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, Tarot Masterclass link, uh, extended link, and uh, mail for um, a private reading is below in the information magical box. I love you deeply. Have a wonderful September. I'll see you in October and, and in your other placements of your chart. Bye.